So today we're going to be talking about hyperbaric oxygen therapy and autism. So when a typical person focuses on a task or even generates speech, the brain is doing a lot more work and there's an increased perfusion of blood flow to the brain. It's this increased supply of blood flow to the brain that provides more oxygen and glucose, thus giving cells the needed energy to perform that particular task. However, in autistic children, several studies have shown the opposite. These children actually have a diminished blood flow to begin with, and when their brain is actually attempting to perform a task, such as generating speech or focusing, their blood flow does not increase, so not giving the cells the extra oxygen and glucose that they need. The diminished blood flow can be seen with clear correlation to many core autistic symptoms and behaviours. For example, when the thalamus is hypoperfusioned, the results are repetitive and an unusual behaviour. When hypoperfusion is found in the temporal lobes, the result is the desire for the sameness or a social and communication impairment. Reduction of cerebral blood flow results in social defects such as the ability to feel emotions, understand others' emotions, respond to danger and also anxiety. The neural abnormalities manifest as defects in cerebral blood flow, hyperperfusion, neuroinflammation and lack of brain synchronisation. This is important to understand in order to begin to find ways to treat people with autism and understand the theory behind hyperbaric oxygen therapy. When a person receives hyperbaric oxygen therapy, the blood flow in the brain is actually increased. The hypoxia and the inflammations are reduced. So that we have found that this may decrease neurological defects and reduce the symptoms of autism. Again, if you look at the PET scan, you can clearly see the difference in the brain before and after hyperbaric oxygen therapy. No matter what the cause of the neuroinflammation, the effects can be devastating. However, at Posidonia Healthcare, we've had excellent results in addressing neurological defects in autism. The minimum recommended treatment is 40 sessions at 1.5 ATA or 5 meters, and this depends on your child's age, whether they would wear a small mask or an oxygen hood, as you can see. We also have TVs inside the chamber so that you can show either TV shows or videos while the treatment is happening to pass the time. Normally, after the first couple of sessions, they are very comfortable and relaxed. We always ask a parent or guardian to accompany the child, um, as this is something familiar for them, as well as having a qualified in-chamber tender present throughout the treatment. The parents of children that we have treated advise us of the following benefits they found after the treatment. Their child had improved sleep. The children became calmer and more affectionate. There was an improved focus and attention, improved bowel movements, they said they just seemed more present, less sensory disturbances, improved cognition. They were just more connected to their family and that their language skills improved. The exact reason it helps children with autism is still being researched. However, there are some clear correlations observed in the current research. Firstly, it removes toxins such as heavy metals from the body. It reduces inflammation, allowing oxygen-deprived areas to have a return of blood flow by building new capillaries in the brain. This also reduces inflammation in the gut. So if you'd like to know more about this amazing treatment and the effects of hyperbaric oxygen therapy, please contact our team.